This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. CJRW is the state's largest advertising agency. Two weeks ago, CEO Wayne Woods announced he would step down and be succeeded by Darren Gray, the new chief executive. Leadership change, a new location in downtown Little Rock's Creative Corridor, and an industry going through tumultuous change. Heck, what's next? Joining me to discuss is CJRW CEO Darren Gray. Thank you very much for being here. Roby, thanks for having me. And your chairman and your president, too. I don't want to neglect your other titles. That's there, okay. So. Just throw a few more in there. What, all of that means more pay, right? So all those titles? Well, that's what I was told, but we'll wait and see. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, let's begin with the change that's going on that I referenced there in our introduction here. You do have this move to a new uh, headquarters for CJRW. You've got a merger with Heathcott and Associates that's transpired over the last year, and then you've got this whole leadership change, old guard, new guard, and everything in between. What kind of skill set are you having to really uh, develop, bring to the table in order to handle all this transition? Well, that's a good question. You and I talked earlier. I used to have hair, but I don't anymore, <laughs> so a little bit of impact there, but uh, obviously this world is changing. Our clients' needs probably more than anything are changing, and so you're seeing this industry as a whole try to respond to those things, be more flexible, more nimble. Uh, more understanding of their specific industries and that just takes a lot more moving parts than what we used to have. Certainly technology uh, has mm -hmm. allowed us to advance in that so it's not always about a headcount in terms of serving your clients but the efficiency of what you have and the resources you're utilizing. Uh, I don't think we're different than any other uh, agency out there that's trying to respond to these things. Quite frankly, all over the country, uh, those same things are happening. To your point of change, uh, I would say this company's probably gone through more change in the last year and a half than most companies will go through in a decade. Yeah. And uh, that can be stressful, uh, but you know, when, when necessity calls for it, you have to respond to the call. And so uh, certainly skill sets of, fortunately, I came from a media background so coming into the advertising uh, agency business, which I had not had previous experience specifically in that industry, uh, the media background really allowed us to kind of progress quickly in that leadership change, uh, to understand the nuances of uh, the specific needs and, and wants of the clients, as well as the process and procedures of running the company. And so that transition uh, actually took place probably sooner than we thought. So, so would you describe this as that you guys are having more of, I mean, like, is it a 180 kind of change or is it an incremental kind of change? Because it seems to me from the outside looking in that it's a really big kind of tidal wave type of change with all of this. Yeah, absolutely. As a matter of fact, when Shelby and Wayne reached out to me almost two or three years ago, uh, kind of very, very much from the very beginning said, you know, uh, here's a 53-year-old company, uh, Arkansas owned and operated, and, and we need to make some drastic changes. We need to catch up, not only to get uh, level where our clients are, but we need to move ahead of that. And so part of that was moving to the Creative Corridor, mm -hmm. and we just entered into those new offices about two weeks ago. Uh, we're very pleased to be one of the first uh, new tenants and clients uh, on the Creative Corridor. As a matter of fact, our second uh, building that uh, involves our uh, TV and production uh, company is, is going to be moving in in about two weeks. So to have two going in there right at the same time is critically important. But it was also more than just a new office space. It's part of our new brand. It's part of who we are. Uh, again, we want to be on the forefront and be the forerunners uh, in, in most of these changes. So tell me what's in this building, this new um, headquarters that you have. What's in there that is different than what was in the old that's going to give you some sort of competitive advantage or take you to another level? Sure, that's a great question. We, we really emphasize this time in the technology that's been utilized in this new building. Uh, we have the ability to virtually connect with our clients. Uh, we can have people all over the country and literally all over the world as we're reviewing things. It shows up on their computer screens. You've got uh, virtual reality that we, we have access to. And so again, uh, not necessarily much, as much about the headcount, but the technology that allows us to reach uh, multiple clients. And that was one of our goals all along was to not just change this company, but expand outside of the state. Uh, expand our services and our expertise into other states and that's part of what we're doing as well. So this will allow us to do that all in one location. So keeping it in state though, you do have some location in northwest Arkansas, so anything changing in northwest Arkansas besides culture maybe? A lot of things are changing in northwest Arkansas because some of the primary clients and people that we deal with, Walmart, uh, J.B. Hunt, Tyson Foods, they constantly change. And so you don't have a lot of time to react to that change and especially the vendors that pro, you know, provide service to them, they don't have a lot of time to react as well. So that is a much more nimble office up there, obviously concentrating on the CPG type of work, shopper marketing type of work. 
uh, even working with Tyson Foods in new ways uh, than we have in the past. And so uh, we just have to keep up with that and stay ahead of the curve. So a lot, lot of good stuff going on in Northwest Arkansas. Last question for you, kind of more of a big picture about what's changing the advertising world. You mentioned earlier you didn't come out of an advertising agency background into this role, but you certainly have learned, I'm sure, plenty in that. The way pitches used to be made, I mean, a lot of people line up in a room, you walk through a PowerPoint presentation, you make your case. What's it like now in terms of client expectations are different, platform delivery is different? What do you, what's the typical pitch look like now? Yeah, extremely different than what you just described. Uh, first of all, uh, most people have to do the most with the money they have, and it's all about the uh, return on the investment. So you better come into those rooms ready to uh, provide results. What, what are you going to implement that gets direct results, uh, measurable results, and, and quite frankly, it's all about results. And so now you do that with infographics, you do that with a lot of video, uh, not as much as the talking heads as it used to be, uh, but certainly you have to gauge all kinds of ages of audience there and, and all of them consume their information differently. So it is a definite across the board change than what a, a typical pitch was years ago. All right. Best of luck to you, Darren Gray, CEO of CJRW. Thank you for being here. Great, Roby. Thank you.